Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a twin flame reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So in case you are not in a twin flame connection, this may not be a reading for you. Let's see how Sagittarius is viewing this connection with their twin flame, please. How Sagittarius is viewing this connection with their twin flame, please. Let's see. Eight of Coins. Eight of Wands. Eight of Coins goes very often from my fire signs today. Looks like fire signs are working a lot. For Sagittarius I also see some kind of communication, but let's get one more card. One more card, please. How Sagittarius is viewing their connection with their twin flame, please. Right. Interesting. I feel like Sagittarius... Uh, I got this, I think, for Aries as well. It could be dealing with Aries. I feel like uh, something is going on in your, in your working environment here. Maybe you work together with your twin flame. Maybe whatever is going on uh, within your working environment is affecting this. I see you actually... I see some kind of competition here. I see, to be honest, I see gossip here. I see with the Eight of Wands and Five of Swords here. Feels like some kind of gossip. Interesting. But let's keep going and see what's going on. How Sagittarius' as Twin Flame is viewing Sagittarius and this connection at this time. How Sagittarius's twin flame is viewing Sagittarius and this connection at this time. Let's see. Interesting. Temperance. Justice. Let's get one more card. One more card, please. How your twin flame is viewing this connection. The sun, all major arcana. Very interesting, Sagittarius. Queen of Wands in the bottom of the deck. We could be dealing with the Leo here or Libra or another Sagittarius, by the way. This is very interesting because... It feels to me like your twin flame is actually very balanced at this time. Very balanced and very clear on what is this uh, they want from this connection. The happiness that they feel being connected to you. As for you, Sagittarius, I see you... <clears throat> I see it being a lot in the mundane. Something is going on in your environment, at work. I feel like I'm getting like heavy, heavy energies. At work, something is happening. Some people going against you. Some, you know, like a lot of, I'm getting a lot of gossip, a lot of petty arguments. And it's taking your attention away from your spirituality and from this connection as well, feels like. Right. Uh, also, with the um, magician and the king of uh, coins here on the bottom of your deck, I feel like at this po at this time it's very important for you to manifest your own stability, financial abundance, something like something of that sort. I see that this troubles you a lot, 
And I wouldn't say, Sagittarius, <clears throat> that it's beneficial for you or for this connection. Because with the Five of Swords, Five of Swords here is telling us that either you're trying to uh, get your focus off your uh, spiritual development and off this connection through the work, but it's maybe for one or two of you only. For, the, for most of you, I feel like, you know, the more you let yourself to be uh, driven away from this connection and from your uh, spiritual growth overall, the harder it gets, to be honest. The harder it gets. Right? But let's see. Let's see how Sagittarius feels about the twin flame and this connection at this time. What's in their heart space, please? How Sagittarius feels about their twin flame. I see Sagittarius, your twin flame is, is being in a very, very harmonious state. I see that uh, the work they do with the justice and temperance here, two cards of balance, they are balancing out this whole connection right now. I see them actually energetically pulling this connection up with the sun here. Yes, that's what I see. Okay, let's see. Three of Wands, Four of Coins. Let's get one more card. For Sagittarius, how they feel about this connection, how they feel about this connection, four of ones to fours here, you see what's happening here Sagittarius, uh, I feel like you are holding on to this connection, that's for sure. You're holding on, and with the three of ones and the four of ones, I see you making, uh, you're making progressive steps towards this connection. But it feels to me like Sagittarius I'm talking about here is actually, with the eight of swords here in the bottom of the deck, right? And the six of swords following them, and the moon, I feel like the Sagittarius I'm, I'm reading for here is in quite a um, mundane space, if that makes sense. I don't feel like, I don't feel that you realize what this connection is at this moment, actually. I see that um, it makes you happy. I see that it makes you want to hold on to it. I see that it makes you you know, anticipating something. I, I see you in a space of anticipation. And in the same time, with the Eight of Swords here on the bottom of the deck, it's probably confusing for you. Uh, because, uh, especially with what's going on around you in your life, because it's a lot of difficulty. I see a lot of difficulty, a lot of conflict, uh, this kind of things. Uh, I see that uh, I see that at, the, at this at this moment, your your attention is constantly driven away from what's important, including this connection. Right? I see you. <clears throat> I see you recognizing it for sure. I see that you are holding on to this person, your twin flame. I see that uh, you can imagine the happiness with this person together. But to be honest, I doubt a little bit that you do recognize what this connection is. To be honest. Let's see what's in their heart space, the Wheel of Fortune. Look at this, they're mirroring you right back. Five of Swords. Let me get one more card. What's in their heart space? 
could be dealing with the fixed sign Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo maybe you have one of those signs in your chart let's get one more card right that's what's going on here that's what's going on here look at this this person comes to you they come towards you with completely purified energies of clarity and balance and happiness and all of that and um, the thing is that the mirroring effect between the between people it's quite often uh, very prominently presented but between the twin flames it works in an instant so I see I see your twin flame you see with this wheel of fortune their state is changing because they meet this uh, five of swords energy on your part and you see it places them immediately also in the five of swords energy and with the king of swords here I see this person start to be like distant aloof right uh, they, are, they are mirroring right back. So if you see that your twin flame became suddenly distant, if you're suddenly losing a communication or energetically you feel like, like this person is, is pulling away from you, you just have to recognize that they are only uh, mirroring what you are showing them. Right? Because when they I see them coming towards you with completely open... Uh, hearts and completely purified energies and if they meet this let's say trouble that you brought from work the trouble that you brought from uh, the outside world they are going to mirror it right back to you right so this is what I see happening because right now in the heart space I see you balancing yourself more or less with the four of uh, pentacles here and four of wands but I see that uh, <clears throat> maybe already this time you balanced yourself more or less and you're going towards this person and they suddenly meet you with this cold, unemotional response uh, or something of that sort. Um, that could be quite surprising for you. But this is exactly how the mirroring effect works. You will see in your twin flame's eyes, in their behavior, in their energy, Everything that is present in your own energy, for sure, right? It's not, it's not to, uh, you know, it's never to disappoint you, it's never to hurt you, it's never to make you sad. It's only for you to look at your own uh, uh, environment, at the circumstances, at your own behavior, to look within, right? And to notice where it comes from and to to heal this this is the only thing so let's see what actions oh, look at this four of ones on your side and four of ones on their side you guys are like on the swing here today one of you is full of light and love and everything and another one is just like you know they just gave me the world gave me a lot of troubles, so just I'm going to be grumpy. And the other one is picking that up. And you are coming towards them with this four of ones here, happy energy. And then they picking this up. Guys. Okay, what's that? Judgment. Right? Let's see. What actions Sagittarius is going to take? With regards to this connection with their twin flame, what actions Sagittarius is going to take with regards to this connection? Even if only energetically Sagittarius, look at this, a lot of mirroring. <clears throat> now you got the Wheel of Fortune on your side and the Knight of Wands. Let's get one more card. I see them extending themselves towards you to a certain extent, Sagittarius. The moon. 
Right. So look what's happening here, Sagittarius. First of all, I think I think that this person, your twin flame, after they picked up uh, all this five of swords negativity, they are going to try and heal themselves and this connection with the two of cups. On the bottom of the deck, I see them going a little bit into healing mode <clears throat> with the queen of coins here. To me, it looks almost the same. Queen of Coins and Four of Wands. And this uh, Four of Swords and Two of Cups here. We have a lot of Fours, actually. Four, four, four. I was like, 44, 44. Try to check what, uh, what's written uh, about this angel number. Maybe there is a message for you. 44, 44. Right, but I see them actually go in a little bit into healing mode. I see, because they will recognize and notice with the judgment here, they are going to recognize something is wrong with my energies. I am knocked out of balance, and I need to get back to this balance. I need to get back to the foundation, and they are going to build themselves up back again. And then, by building themselves up, by healing this, whatever they found within themselves, they are going to heal this connection too. As for Sagittarius here, I see, I see at this moment, uh, you probably will see them uh, being, you know, in this Five of Swords energy that you brought them. You brought this home, right? And this will, uh, I see with the Wheel of Fortune here, I see a lot of changes within this connection, a lot of mirrored change, right? So whatever you, let's say, uh, whatever you bring home, they mirror it right back to you. And then you mirror it right back to them. And, and it goes on and on and on and on. Until both of you will decide that you have to heal. So what I see on Sagittarius's part here, I see Sagittarius is going, maybe even, maybe even away from this connection a little bit. I see Sagittarius I'm reading for is going a little bit astray, right? Yeah, that's what I see. In secret, under the moon energy here, first of all, I feel like uh, your twin flame's behavior, uh, that fact that they are going to to be a little bit withdrawn, maybe healing themselves, maybe taking care of themselves, you know. Um, it's going to uh, to scare you a little bit. Could be. I'm not saying it is going to. Like, now that you know, you better don't let it scare you. As soon as you feel that you are being... Um, that you are being dragged into the into the space of fear within yourself. Don't let it drive you away. Don't let it uh, make you. Um, don't let it push you towards some impulsive decisions. Here with this night, this night is very impulsive. This night is saying one thing today and another thing tomorrow, right? This night is changing their minds all the time. So. The best option here will be to actually look at your fears, to actually look within yourself, just like your twin flame is doing. And then there will be a chance to balance both energies out, right? Uh, I hope this makes sense. So this is what I have Sagittarius, and uh, I hope this helped in some way, and I hope to see you again. Bye Sagittarius.